Is the title a clickbait? Well, actually, no. Let me explain. Learning new stuff is amazing. That feeling that gives having more knowledge is really awesome. And you can do that through courses and online tutorials. But you have to be careful. Because one day you might realize you're stuck in the tutorial hell. So, are some tutorials just wrong? And what is this tutorial hell? Well, tutorial hell is that situation when you're learning through tutorials and you might even get to the final result without knowledge or deep understanding on all the steps in between. Basically, you're just copying someone else's work. And you might not be intentional about that, but that's the outcome. I'm sorry to tell you this way. Well redacted tutorials will guide you through the final and polished solution as smooth and as easily as possible. And that's fine, that's what tutorials are for. But you must not forget to analyze all the steps in between. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. That is, you did a tutorial and you got something. Teach a man how to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. That is, you know how to build things after the tutorial. Do you get where the analogy is? It's fairly easy to get into that situation even if you're not a beginner and you might realize it at some point, but it might be too late. Okay, so let's assume you're in this so-called tutorial hell. I want to tell you how to escape and the first step is by following this tutorial on how to use tutorial. That sounds kinda sus. But please stay with me, I promise I'll get to the point. The best way to use tutorials is to forget what the tutorial is about. Just forget it. Boom. No longer exist. Focus on the way. Do you know the way? Now you no longer care about how the tutorial aims for, but you care about what is going to tell you and why. That's the key. I think I repeated it so many times, but that's the more important lesson to take out from this video. Learn and think about why something is done that way and not another way. In case you're still confused, let me take a practical example so you get to the point. Let's say we want to build a to-do app with React. Sounds easy, right? Okay, so the tutorials at some point tells you that you want to sync your to-do list and it tells you to use an HTTP call using the verb POST. Okay, so why am I using this verb? Why not PUT? Why not PATCH? What are HTTP verbs? And again, is it using a library, for example Axios? Okay, cool. Why, why the tutorial is using a library? Do we have a native way of doing HTTP calls? And it's, it's gonna use Axios, okay, cool. What, what else can this library do? Why am I using the library and not the native solution? And what can the native solution offer? So keep that in mind. Do this exercise every time you use a tutorial to learn something new. Ask why. Why and other ways to do that, the same thing. You should do that every single time because yeah, sure. It will take more time to complete the tutorial. Your to-do app will be delayed by some hours or some days, but you're learning. You're learning 10 times more because you get why things are done and now you're able to do extra things by yourself. And that's something else you should do right after finishing a tutorial. So you did your, your to-do app, cool. How can I integrate with an, another external service? How can I add a new feature? And don't use a tutorial for that. Just try to do your own stuff. The tutorial gave you the foundation, the smallest building blocks, but now it's your time. Do your own work, your own research, and you will learn way more than just by doing that tutorial. Think about who wrote the tutorial, did all the research beforehand. That's why the tutorial is cool and helps you get in the solution. But by following it blindly, you're basically just missing all the research that is what you're gonna do in your daily job or for larger projects where you cannot expect to have tutorials. However, that's not the only way to learn. 
For example, in my case, I really like putting my hands on real case or real projects rather than to do apps. Sorry for using that example again, but you get the point. And the best way to do that, at least it worked for me, that's what I did personally, is contributing to open source. Yes, learning in public. I explain in this other video all the benefits you can have with open source. You will have fun and learn a lot more than just doing little tutorials because you'll be forced to put your code to the review of other developers and you can exchange information and do real stuff. So leave a like on this video and go watch this other one. See you there.